Okay, now here's the third question. The frequency of the first overtone produced by an open pipe is the same as the frequency of the first overtone produced by a closed pipe which has a length of 1 meter. Okay, determine the length of the open pipe. Okay, the two objects here is first we have the open pipe, next we have the closed pipe. We are comparing the frequency of first overtone for both. First overtone, uh, first overtone of open pipe, and then first overtone of closed pipe, and give us the length of closed pipe. Only the length of closed pipe is given. Okay? Uh, okay, just write it down. Only the length of closed pipe equal to 1 meter. Okay? That's all it gives. Yeah? Length of closed pipe, we need to find the length of open pipe. Length of open pipe is the target. Okay? So now, how to do this question? So, first of all, we have an open pipe and a closed pipe. Okay? Uh, open pipe and a closed pipe. Okay? Uh, we know that open pipe is all harmonic. Uh, all harmonic, that means it has uh, all the integers of n. Yeah? The, again, I want to stress that uh, harmonic is n. Yeah? Harmonic is the n. So, open pipe is all harmonic. That means it starts from 1, and then 2, 3, and so on. But closed pipe is odd harmonic. Odd harmonic, it means it starts with 1, then uh, it goes straight to 3, 5. It only has odd numbers. No even numbers, yeah? So the N only has odd numbers for closed pipe. But for open pipe, all harmonic, the N has all numbers, okay? And this is the general formula for the frequency of open pipe and uh, NVO2L, okay, frequency of open pipe. Frequency of closed pipe, the odd harmonic, uh, the general formula is NVO4L, okay? Uh, so, uh, what is the first overtone for both? Uh, so, we want to know the first overtone. If we want to find the first overtone for both, uh, we also need to find the harmonic, okay? So, okay, let us, let us find the first overtone uh, for both pipes. Okay, so for the open pipe, let's start with open pipe. Open pipe, very, very easy. Open pipe, start, the mode always start with fundamental. Then it will go to first overtone. Uh, that's, that's all. And then uh, since uh, open pipe has all harmonic, that means uh, always harmonic, we start with one. Then go to 2. Uh, it has even numbers because all harmonic. Yeah, so this is the one. So the uh, first the first overtone of open pipe is second harmonic. Uh, okay? Then, for the closed pipe, uh, start with uh, fundamental mode. Then the first overtone, okay, uh, that's it. Now the harmonic, fundamental is 1. So, but Close by is odd harmonic from one jump to three. Uh, so from one jump to three. Ah, uh, so the first overtone for close by is third harmonic. Uh, that's it. We found the harmonic. Uh, okay. Remember to do such question. To do such question, if it didn't didn't give you the harmonic, we need to find the harmonic first. Okay. I give you the overtone. If we give you the overtone, you need to. Convert that to harmonic first. Okay, find the harmonic for both pipe. So for open pipe, the first overtone is actually second harmonic. For closed pipe, the first overtone is always third harmonic. Okay. Uh, so uh, and then he says that these two frequency of the first overtone is the same. Uh, he's saying that. They are at the same frequency. That means the second harmonic frequency of open pipe is the same as third harmonic frequency of closed pipe. Now, this is why you say, you know, because their first overtone has the same frequency. So, let us continue. The frequency of open pipe is the same as 
frequency of close by okay when uh, when this uh, open pipe has n equal to 2 and when this close pipe is n equal to 3 uh, okay their first overtone same frequency so we just apply the formula uh, we just apply the formula uh, nv over 2l for open pipe nv over 2l the n substitute with 2 uh, substitute with 2 so let's continue so the n substitute with 2 2v over 2l uh, this is the length of open pipe okay length of open pipe uh, and then the speed, uh, this speed of the pipe is always using the air, speed of sound in the air, okay, 343. And then uh, NV over 4L for close by, NV over 4L, the first overtone is third harmonic. Uh, third harmonic, so substitute N with 3. Uh, so with 3V over 4L, 4L. So this is the length of close by. Length of close by uh, is also speed of sound is the same in the air. Okay, speed of sound, um, speed of sound not given actually no need also because they have the same speed in the air. You know the speed of sound in the air is actually um, three four three. So uh, this one is the same for both open pipe and Close by. Uh, they have the same speed. Okay, they have the same same speed. Yeah, yeah. My my writing is not so. Okay, I need to improve on the writing. So open pipe and open pipe and close pipe have the same velocity of uh, sound in the air, which is three four three. Uh, meter per second okay so that means i can cut this off uh, i just can cut this off speed of sound yeah just uh, cut it off uh, this two and two can be cut off and uh, what else i have i have the length of yeah i have the length of close pipe length of close pipe is one meter length of close pipe is one meter so let's continue so uh one over length of uh i have uh Length of closed pipe is one meter, isn't it? Length of closed pipe is one meter. Ah, length of closed pipe is one meter. Okay, so I got the length of open pipe. Uh, I get the length of open pipe, which is four over three, which is uh one point three three meter. Yeah, problem solved. That's the length of open pipe. Very simple, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, length of open pipe. So just use the formula, the general formula. Okay, yeah, remember the open part is all harmonic, close part is odd harmonic. Um, then you uh, list down, list down. Yeah, start with the fundamental mode, then go to the first overtone. It always like this: first fundamental, fundamental mode, first overtone. Uh, then it will go, it will go to um, it will the next one should be the second overtone. The second overtone is the third harmonic. You know. Because it's all harmonic, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. But the close pipe, start with fundamental mode, then the first overtone, and then we have the second overtone, uh, second overtone, uh, but it's odd harmonic, odd harmonic, so the harmonic will go to 5 instead of 4. Eh? Uh, so if they, let's say the question, com want to compare the second overtone, Second overtone of open pipe with second overtone of close pipe. Uh, that is the third harmonic. Third harmonic of open pipe. Third harmonic of open pipe uh, equal to the fifth harmonic of close pipe. Uh, then here the n we substitute with three, and here we substitute with five. Uh, yeah. Or sometimes he will ask uh, the second overtone. Second overtone of open pipe. Uh, it has the same frequency as the first overtone of close pipe. Uh, if that case, then is the third harmonic of open pipe equal to the third harmonic of close pipe. Uh, so the overtone, uh, the next it should be the third overtone. Uh, yeah, third overtone. Uh, yeah, we can go up to uh, many overtones. Uh, 
the third overtone is a uh, fourth harmonic for open uh, for the you know for the close uh, open pipe and the third overtone for close pipe is seventh harmonic yeah okay so these are the n values yeah one two three four n values and this one three five seven odd harmonic uh, these are the n values for us to substitute into the n over here you know the n here ah uh, i need to um okay the n here uh this is the harmonic this n is the harmonic by the way uh this is the diagram uh the first overtone uh, for open pipe fundamental mode looks like this anti note with anti note fundamental mode go down first overtone just add another half lambda uh, so this is the first overtone of open pipe uh, yeah the length is lambda uh, the first overtone is second harmonic for the close pipe start with the fundamental mode it's a note with anti note uh, add another half lambda become the first overtone uh, this is how the first overtone of close pipe looks like okay it is at the third harmonic uh, we also can use this method we draw by using draw diagrams and then we find out the length uh, you know the length of the pipe equal to how many lambda this like this uh, open pipe is length equal to lambda or this close pipe length equal to three uh, three quarter lambda then we find the we, we use the formula v equal to f lambda v equal to f lambda find out the frequency uh, find out the frequency of the you know find out the frequency of the yeah the frequency of the sorry the frequency of the open pipe and the frequency of the closed pipe and compare each other by using the formula uh, v equal to f lambda for both uh, uh, find out the length first uh, find out the lambda first uh, substitute with the lambda here find out the frequency of open pipe frequency of closed pipe then compare uh, frequency and close pipe and open pipe we can compare uh, like that okay uh, also we can solve the problems but the quickest method is of course using the formula yeah using this formula this formula will be given in the list of constants a list of formula okay, in the exam so okay there are two ways to do this okay hope you enjoy the videos uh please subscribe and like and share it to your friends share it to more people so more people can benefit see you again uh in the last part uh doppler effect okay see you bye